Playoffs are set, and we got the Eastern Conference and Western Conference first round showdowns. I'm gonna give you who wins and why. I'm gonna try to do this rapid fire, try to make it quick. Los Angeles Lakers, Portland Trailblazers. The Portland Trailblazers, when they're playing, they had to win out basically and had to play a play in to get in. Even though Dame is on fire, I'm gonna side with the Los Angeles Lakers and I'm not gonna do it because I have bias. I'm just gonna look at it objectively. CJ McCollum has a back injury. Yusuf Nurkic and Hassan Whiteside are both defensive liabilities. The thing with Portland is they have to out offensive you to win a series. And the thing with the Lakers is the same way that Dame and CJ could ignite and go off for 30 or 40, LeBron James and Anthony Davis could do the same. So what, what, where's the difference in the two teams? Defense. And the Portland Trailblazers are awful defensively. I'm giving the edge to the Lakers. I'm going to say the same way that the Lakers can't guard CJ and, and Dame. Well, guess what? Nobody on the Portland Trailblazers could guard LeBron and Anthony Davis. And Damian Lillard needs a ball in his hands. Somebody asked me a really good question. Well, if Damian needs a ball in his hands and we take the ball out of his hands, what happens? Well, guess what happens? The game is close. And you saw that through all the games that they, the Trailblazers played. Every game has been close when they took the ball out of his hands. So now they're saying, here's a reverse psychology. So since the Lakers only have LeBron and AD, what if we take the ball out of those two guys' hands? Well, guess what? There are other veterans that can make plays. The last team to double LeBron every time he took the ball out of his hands, they got swept. That was the Atlanta Hawks, who had the best record in the Eastern Conference. I'm going with the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm going to say, honestly, I want to say five games. I'm going to say five games. It could be six, but I'm going to say Lakers and five because the Blazers don't play any defense. I can see the Lakers having a rest, dropping game one. And after that, they sweep through. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Could be a six game series. I could be wrong, but I'm, I feel it in five. Series, Rockets Thunder. Russell Westbrook has out with a strained quad. That is huge. While Harden is a beast and he could take care of everything, the minutes that he's gonna have to play and the way that he looks out of shape, I see this being a seven game series or at least a six to seven game series. Chris Paul wants revenge. And that is a major factor in how everything plays out there. So even though people will automatically assume like, hey, the Rockets got this. If Russell Westbrook is gonna be injured and impeded, that's gonna be tough for the Rockets. So I, I, I can sense a, I can sense an upset here, but I'm gonna go Rockets. I'm gonna say Rockets in seven because here's the thing: James Harden does have those letdown games, and CP3 is gonna be well motivated. The Thunder are like a new version of the Clippers, like a younger version or baby Clippers. And that could be spelled trouble because they could defend. They got young guys that could defend. They got shooters. They got big men. And they got CP3. So it's going to be like the battle of the guards. While James Harden is better, hey, you can't put nothing back past them. So I'm going to say, we'll say six to seven game series. We'll say Rockets is Seven. If if Russell Westbrook can't play the series, Rockets in seven. If he can play, if he can play the series, I'll say Rockets in six. Nuggets Jazz. This series will test the maturity of the Denver Nuggets. And honestly, the Denver Nuggets have so many horses. Halfway through this bubble, they didn't even play all of their guys. They have a lot of guys coming off the bench that didn't even play. They just let them get all this rest. So the Nuggets should win this series comfortably in five. The only problem is they don't do anything comfortably. You saw last year where they played a seven game series against the Portland Trailblazers where they have ample opportunity to knock them out. But due to the fact that they got into a guard oriented game and Jokic didn't play like a big man that he's supposed to, screwed everything up. So that being said, I'm gonna say Nuggets in six because they're they have playoff experience, but their youth is going to show itself. They're going to make mistakes and allow the Utah Jazz to hang around. Los Angeles Clippers and Dallas Mavericks. That series, it should be a five-game series because you have Kawhi, Paul George. You have Montrezl Harrell. And, you know, you have Lou Williams back. So, their, their core basically is intact now. I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm going to say Clippers in five. And I'm, the reason I'm saying this is because they're highly motivated to win a championship... And I think all of this Damian Lillard shit back and forth, it really exposed a little bit of Paul George. He's going to want to prove something. They're going to want to lock up Luka Doncic, which is, which is fine. 
Porzingis or Doncic is gonna get loose, they're gonna that's gonna win them a game. But I don't think I don't see them making this a long series because the depth of the Los Angeles Clippers is gonna show itself. And they're gonna have so many lineups and so many defenders that it's gonna it's gonna be a problem for the Dallas Mavericks. Moving over to Eastern Conference, Bucks Magic. I have the Bucks in five. I think the Magic this could be a sweep, but I think the Magic have enough to win a game. And the reason I'm saying this is because you've seen where the Magic, they actually gave the Toronto Raptors a, a shocker in uh, game one. So they have young guys, they have young, little young horses, but the, you remember, Jonathan Isaacs is injured. So this could be a sweep, but I'm going to give them respectfully a game. I don't see any sweeps this first round. I, I just feel like the, the competition level has been way too hype and way too good for any team to think they're going to sweep another team. These guys are locked in. Of course, you got Giannis. You got um, Middleton. and But I think George Hill's been... Everybody's been playing better on the Bucks. Like, everybody kind of knows their position and role. Heat Pacers, I'm going to say it's a six-game series. I'm going to go... Ooh, I'm going to go with the Heat because the fact that um, Jimmy Butler's there, they have that winning pedigree, their bench basically it could be another starting little mini starting lineup. They had an injury to um, you know one of their athletes, but I'm gonna say with the leadership of Jimmy Butler. And when you look at it, who's better, Jimmy Butler or Victor Lodipo? I'm gonna go with Jimmy Butler. I think that's just gonna win them games alone, just off his name. Six game series. That's a close series though. Celtics 76ers. I'm gonna go with the Celtics. I think that the 76ers really screwed the pooch on everything they did, man. Um, they got rid of so many guys. They didn't keep them from Jimmy Butler to J.J. Redick. I think it was like it's, it's just like a landslide of, of crap happening to them. Then you got Ben Simmons getting injured. They're going to be playing such a slow down game. And the Celtics, if they're smart, they should make this a five-game series. However, I feel like, I feel like something's going to happen where... Either Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown struggle, and that's gonna allow 76ers to steal steal a, a few games. I'm, I'm gonna say Celtics in six. This should be a five game series, but like I just said, like you gotta understand sometimes with youth and experience, or you got the experience, but it's just the your, your youth, the way that they think. So like sometimes what I see with the Celtics, sometimes one guy takes a turn, another guy takes a turn when they're not really running their actions. Even though Brad Stevens seems to like command the offense they need to like they need to run their actions consistently because this is like a practice round because the other, you only got a guard against one star you double him and make everybody else beat you and they're not going to so this matter of fact this should be a five game series for the celtics let's just say five celtics and five we got raptors and nets this this series i like this series a lot this is going to be a really good series raptors are surprisingly well not surprisingly good because they have Nick Nurse, who really gave them the discipline to become a champion with Kawhi Leonard, of course. Now without Kawhi Leonard, guess what their winning percentage is? 74% during the season. So they still have remnants of that championship team. They play great defensive principles, and they, they're they a solid team. Now here's what the thing with the Nets. The Nets are out to prove something as well. They're like, hey, without Kyrie, we made it to the playoffs. Without Kevin Durant, we made it to the playoffs. So now we're here, we're trying to stamp something. This is a six-game series. And I'm definitely going to give the edge to the Raptors because they have championship pedigree. They got Siakam. They're healthier. They they have um, Fred Van Fleet. I feel like their guard play is going to be tough and their defensive principles. You know, you saw what they did to Golden State. Even though Golden State was injured, they made them play out of character. So that within itself is going to be huge. I got Raptors in six. These are all my predictions. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Who's Junction? Well, who's me too, Like, comment, subscribe.